What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I want to show you this clip. And this is a really good clip. This is Representative Larson talking about the Social Security 2100 Act. Basically, he's talking about Social Security reform. And he said something really interesting, and hopefully you guys will catch it. And we're going to talk about it because this is, this is the, the, the key right here. This is the, the whole ballgame when it comes to Social Security reform and a raise for Social Security beneficiaries. This is the ballgame. So we'll talk about that in this video. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you get notified anytime we post a video. We post daily videos, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And please consider joining our membership. You'll get custom emojis as well as custom badges. And then also, make sure you sign our petition. We have a petition for an increase for Social Security benefits. So I'll have that information in the comment section. It'll be pinned at the very top. There'll be a link. Just click on that link, and you'll go right over there, and you'll be able to sign the petition. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look and a listen to what Representative Larson has to say about Social Security reform. Here we go. Different groups across this great country and by members of this body who put together their ideas. The Ways and Means Committee merely took the great ideas of our colleagues and put them together. Ideas that have been endorsed by the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare, Social Security Works, the Alliance of Retired Americans, the California Alliance for Retired American Paralyzed Veterans of America, Strengthened Social Security Coalition, the NAACP, and the list goes on. The gentlelady from Florida understands this, and Florida probably leads the country in terms of the number of seniors that it has in their district. And as we pointed out, before to the speaker, uh, Madam Frankel, that uh, your, every district receives money, $364 million a month. But it's been that way for more than 50 plus years. These programs need to be enhanced and extended, not cut. The provision by the Republican Study Committee, if there's nothing done by 2034, Social Security is cut by 20%. And so instead, they're calling to raise the age now and cut Social Security by 21% today. How does that possibly make any sense? Okay, so that was Representative Larson. Now, you, that last part there, that is very important. It's very crucial. What he is saying is the Republican Study Committee, they're saying that if we don't move forward with reform for Social Security, then we're going to see a cut of about 20 percent, 20, 23 percent. You know, economists say different things, but we're looking at that by 2034, 2035. And so what Representative Larson is saying, and this is very important because you have politicians right now that are saying we need to reform Social Security, and that's a good thing. However, how do they want to reform Social Security? They want to make cuts. They want to raise the full retirement age, which, in essence, is a cut. For every year you raise a full retirement age, that's a 7% cut. So if they raise it two years, that's a 14% cut. If they raise it three years, that's a 21% cut. And you would make those cuts right now. That's the problem. So if we're looking at 11 years from now, the trust funds running out of money and, and forcing uh, Congress to, to have to make that decision, either they're going to reform Social Security or if they don't, then that 23% cut would be automatic or doing cuts right now and then still not addressing the fact that just raising the full retirement age is not enough to reform Social Security. So you're still going to be looking at a situation in 10 11 years where you're going to have to do something. So there's a potential here, and this is the danger. There's a potential here for politicians that are out there saying, well, we want to protect Social Security. We want to protect Social Security. And so we're going to raise a full retirement age to do that. So they'll raise a full retirement age. Let's say they raise it from 67 to 69. And then in 10 years, if nothing is done, we could be looking at more cuts. That's the danger. So you raise a full retirement age now, that's a 14% cut if you raise it two years. 
And then in 10 years down the road, we're looking at cuts. Or maybe, maybe it's prolonged a little bit. So instead of 10 years, it's now 15 years. So let's say 15 years down the road, you have the 14% cut now. 15 years down the road, now we're looking at more cuts, potentially 20% or 23%. And so you see how you need to fix it all now. You can't just have politicians saying, yeah, we're going to protect Social Security, but we're going to have to raise the full retirement age. Because if they raise a full retirement age and they don't address the fact that you need to reform Social Security, which means you're going to need to bring in more revenue. That's the bottom line. The program right now needs more revenue. And you can't. There's, there's no other way around it, which means that you're going to need to raise the payroll contribution. You either need to raise it for everyone or you're going to raise it on people who are making 400000 or more, but you need to do something. You need to bring in money. And Republicans right now, they're not talking about bringing in more money. All they're talking about is raising the full retirement age, and we need to means test uh, Social Security, which means that people who are making more, receiving more in Social Security benefits would receive a little bit less and the people at the bottom would receive a little bit more. That's okay, but where are you bringing in the revenue? You need to bring in more money because right now the people who are working, paying into the payroll contribution, that's not enough to pay out benefits at 100%. And that's why they're pulling from the trust fund in order to do that. So you need more revenue. The simple solution, and I've talked about this plenty of times, is to raise the payroll contribution across the board. Everybody has to pay a little bit more. And you sell it to them this way. You let them know, look, in 11 years, if we do nothing, the trust fund will be completely depleted. And when you reach the age where you can retire, you might see a 23% cut in your benefits. Would you be willing to contribute 1% more or maybe 2% more right now out of the payroll contribution? Right now you're contributing 6.2%. Would you be willing to contribute 7.2% or 8.2% in order to guarantee that you're going to receive your Social Security benefits at 100% when you get to the age of retirement? Would you contribute more? I think most people would say, yes, I would contribute a little bit more. And I liken it to the, the 401k. It's the same thing. Or if you sit down with a financial advisor and you tell them, I want to retire at 55, and they look at you and they say, okay, this is how much money you have right now in your 401k. This is how much money you have in your retirement plan. You're going to need to invest a little bit more in your retirement plan if you want to retire at 55. They'll tell you that. It's the same thing with Social Security. Okay, Now, Social Security is not a complete retirement plan. You still need to have a 401k. Or you need to have some type of retirement plan set up, but it does supplement your retirement. And so it's important. A 23% cut would hurt most people. And so and for some people, it might mean that they can't retire. They have to work a a until, they're, until they die, which is unfortunate, but that is the reality that some people are, are, are finding out. So I'm glad that Representative Larson said this. When it comes down to it, look, we have to reform Social Security and we can't talk about raising the full retirement age to do it because that is not going to be enough and it's just going to mean that you're going to have to work longer. So I want to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one.